It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 12. It says, Honor thy father and thy mother, that the days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. I'm going to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Harbakash, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Coming at you with another quick lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. I read it again in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that the days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Sloth here. Yeah, I tie my shoe. All right, so this lesson is coming through the spirit. Um, as I was reading this morning, I was reading the book of Ecclesiasticus, the third chapter. And, um, you know, as I'm, as I'm reading this chapter, you know, I started to think about how this, uh, this society, you know, allows, um, allows the, you know, uh, dismissal of the father. Okay, how they allow, uh, you know, for the father to be disrespected, talked down on, disregarded. Right. When a Bible clearly says, honor thy father and thy mother. But in the society, what do we see? We see the worship of the mother, the queen of heaven worship type of spirit where the mother is lifted up on a pedestal. Okay. Everything has to coincide with the mother it's all about the mother when you even think about the different uh days that they have celebrate or that are celebrated here it's always uh, geared towards the the benefits of of the mother right even when you see a different uh you know uh people in the entertainment industry let's just say athletes for uh, per se you know the most most cases you'll hear of them say you know Shout out to my mom. It's always about my mom. You know, and now there's a lot of situations where, you know, due to the curses, which a lot of people don't understand, due to the curses that the father has been, you know, somehow rooted out of the household. And there's various different situations behind that. And I'm not going to really go too deep in that. Uh, in today's lesson, I'm just want to get to the point of, you know, showing you how, you know, this the, the the world this wicked society that we live in today has disregarded okay the uh the uh the the, 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 uh, the role of the father you know and he knew what he was doing when he set this up okay matter of fact let's get i want to get um what's the scripture the proverbs find the <clears throat> we bring this one out quite often. Uh, strong. I've been buying. Let's see what we get. <clears throat> Slocky, yeah, let's type in. It's for spoil. Wow. Either I'm looking over it or I'm. All right, well, the scripture is going to about, uh, you know, uh, being able to bind the strong man, then you'll be able to spoil his goods, you know. And um, this is what uh, Esau and Edom have done, you know, through his wicked agenda, he, how he has, you know, uh, destroyed, you know, the, uh, the, the household setup, which goes, starts with the father, you know, the mother, then the children, okay, and he rooted the, the man out of the household. But let's get into... Uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus Also known as Sirach the third chapter It says hear me your father O children and do thereafter That ye may be safe For the Lord have given the father Honor over the children And had confirmed the authority of the mother 
over the sons who so honor his father making make it an atonement for his sins now brothers brothers in the faith you know um and hey even you know sisters in the faith that you know have uh, been awakened you know to to this truth you know um you get to a point where it's you you know it would be wise to uh make a uh I'm trying to think of the word i'm looking for you want to you know uh make uh, uh you want to reconcile with your father you know if if you can you know not saying you you know you got to be you know, best of friends and talk every day or hang out every day or you know you want to try to rectify that situation though you know on your behalf okay even if the things you know, they may not accept and you might not agree with certain things that happen or what took place I, I get all that you know a lot of us majority of us come from uh, uh backgrounds or homes where we didn't have a father Okay, but it comes a point in time of us knowing this truth of, you know, we have to make a, a, a amends of the situation, especially when you know knowing this truth of the curses that was put on put on our people. And I'm not justifying the situation, but I'm saying the curses that was put on our people. You know uh, how we see how Esau have, has set up, you know, this system to destroy the nuclear family. Okay, how he have set the system up to uh, take the father, take the father uh, out of the household. So he can have complete control of the mind of the mother, which trickle down to the kids, you know, for his uh, uh, wicked agenda that you can see set up upon the earth right now. Most of most of the, 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 the most of the children uh, that have, you know, that are incarcerated or not just children, but people that are incarcerated, you know, people to drop out of school, um, uh, you know, and, and many other crazy things that you see uh, in the society. Uh, or, the, 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 the statistics say that it's usually coming from what? A single parent home. And a single parent home is very detrimental to a child. Very. Okay? So when you start to think about the aspects of that, and, and, and you know, and you start to say, okay, well, wait a minute. Maybe it wasn't, you know, my father's fault fully. And you start to just think of different things of, okay, this, this shit was set up. You know, so... When you get the long, uh, 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 able to uh, along those lines, then you, you you be able to understand more of okay, I, I see what took place in uh you know in different situations. And it's a case by case situation. But what I'm saying is, for your spirit, for your conscience, you want to uh, try to uh, make things better with your father if you can. All right. So let's read Ecclesiastes chapter three verse three again. It says, "Whoso honor for his father, make of an atonement for his sins." That's that's heavy. It's a big thing right there, man. And he that honor his mother is as one that left up treasure. So, you know, it's one of those things where you're supposed to honor your father and mother. And now in this society, man, and yes, the, the big thing is the the disrespect and, and disregard of the father. That's a huge thing playing on society. Now, when you look at things now, man, it's like, yo, you see these 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 children. These brute beasts, you know, they're disrespecting, you know, everyone that's raising them. You know, their grandmothers, maybe their aunties or uncles, you know. I mean, like, this this, this is out of control. But this is the society we're dealing with, man. You know. Or this, this is the type of children in the society that we're dealing with. Let's continue. Verse 5, it says, Whoso honor for his father shall have joy of his own children. Ooh. Whoso honor his father shall have joy of his own children, and when he maketh his prayer, he shall be heard. He that honor his father shall have a long life, and he that is obedient unto the Lord shall be a comfort to his mother. You see? So you see how, you know, how it's beneficial to honor the father and the mother? Okay? But see, in the society, it's how everything has been destroyed, everything has been flipped upside down. You know, when you when you read passages like passages like this, you know, to, and to some people's minds, it go say, "How? You know, how am I able to do this? I don't have the father in my home." You know, I don't. Even, so a lot of us, a lot of a lot of Jake, you know, and I mean, I had the privilege of no man, but a lot of Jake don't. We don't. Even, a lot of Jake don't even know their fathers. You know, but this is the case of if you do, 
And if you're able to, you know, speak to, you know, uh, y- your father, you want to try to make amends, you know, if, if it is possible. That's I'm just throwing it out there. All right. Uh, verse. Uh, verse seven says, he that fear of the Lord will honor his father and will do service unto his parents as to his masters. You see? So it says, he that fear of the Lord will honor his father. Now, it's like that Bible verse, Exodus, the 20th chapter. Okay. And uh, what verse did I read? Uh, Exodus 20, or when it, where it states, uh, honor thy father and mother. It's like, that's why it's just like it's wiped out or, or, or it's a, a, a whitened out. And it just says, honor thy mother. And you get, you get why Jake, you know, do it. Because who who's the one that took care of them? The mother. You know, their mother was there. And, and the father, more than likely in a lot of cases, weren't there. But there's a lot of situations behind closed doors that play behind that. And a lot of Jake don't know that. Now, there's cases where you got some some dead beats and, and some um, men that did not uh, take on a responsibility. You do have that, and that's wicked. I, I don't... I don't uh, I don't agree with that, you know, that, that shit ain't cool, you know, or fathers that made uh, life costing mistakes, you know, we were not able to be in a child's life no more, you know, locked up for whatever crazy shit they didn't did or, you know, situations like that. But, you know, Jake just, you know, putting a seed in a woman and just bouncing. Hey, man, that shit is off, man. You know, that's wicked. But for, for uh, people that have fathers that were trying to be in their life and the situation didn't work out because, you know, the mother or about a case of adultery or, you know, whatever it is. There's a lot of things that play play play, as, uh, uh, play their part in these different situations that children don't know about, you know. So that's why I said more when you're, you you start to understand when it's truth. Now you can you, you can get a, a better sense of, oh, OK, this might have took place. That might have took place. You know, these, these different things. I don't know. That's something you got to, you know, <laughs> deal with and, and ask, uh, uh, you know, speak to your, your father, your mother about if, if it be. But let's continue. It says, uh, honor thy father and mother, both in word and deed, that a blessing may come upon thee from them. For the blessing of the father establishes the houses of children. And he knows this. He knows this. Okay. It says, "He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy." What? He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. You know, he hates a father to be in the household. That's why he did so much to destroy the household. When you look at the whole the welfare system, okay, it was to help. Who? Was it to help the black family as a whole? No. When they said welfare well, to, to help the, the black family, no, they meant the mo- the mother, the so-called you know a uh, black woman or Israelite woman, okay? Right? Because the Latino woman fit in there, you know. Um, was it to help the just the the, fa- the family whole family unit? No, it was to help the the mother and her children, and he was playing the father. You see, because it was the point where if you know if welfare found out uh, a father was in the household. You, you was getting kicked. You, was getting, you wasn't going to get no more food stamps. You wasn't going to get no more uh, housing help. You know? The benefits that came and come from the system. No. The system was to put him out, rule him out, so he can play the father and have control over the, the mind of the, the, the mother and the children. That's what we have done. So it says, for the blessing of the father established the houses of children, but the curse of the mother rooted out foundations. Glory not in the dishonor of thy father, for thy father's dishonor is no glory unto thee. And this is the main point I wanted to hit right here. Glory not in the, in the dishonor of thy father, for thy father's dishonor is no glory unto thee. There is no glory, right, in dishonoring your father. There is no glory of not having no father. Yeah, I didn't have no father. There's no glory in that. Because deep down, 
you felt that your father's you felt that you didn't have your father's presence you know whether you, you was able to uh, deal with it okay or, or get over it from from old or from young to old because sometimes you get to a point of age when you're even younger you start to say well wait a minute i'm missing your, your spirit knows you're missing something something is missing and it could lead all the way up to you to your to your older some people don't be able to get to deal with it until they're even 30s 40s 50s you know resentment is still there because they didn't have a father so don't glory in it don't glory in dishonor because that 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 lack of that fatherhood it shows oh best believe it, it shows you know <clears throat> So glory not in the dishonor of thy father, for for thy father's dishonor is no glory unto thee. My, uh, for the glory of a man is from the honor of his father, and a mother in dishonor is a reproach to the children. You see, but they don't highlight that in the society. Okay, the things that because you you gotta whew, you know both parties as you can see in this day and age do a lot of crazy. Shit, man, you know, and it been in cases of the, the mother, man. Oh my goodness, been wilding out, leaving her children in the car, you know, and they overheat, uh, and that why they go to the club, and you know, uh, leaving them with strangers and, and people that they just met, you know, and the children get touched, and you know, all types of crazy stuff you be seeing happening across the world, man. You know. And the scriptures talk about uh, women being uh, like ostrich, ostriches, o ostriches. You know, I think that's in the book of Lamentations. It's <sighs> like I'm dealing with the elements right now. Uh, so, verse twelve it says, "My son, help thy father in his age and grieve him not as long as he liveth." So it's it's just giving you you know the rundown of look, your father get older. You know, don't grieve him because of his age. You know, help him. You know, he took care of you. He helped you help him. And even and even in the situation where if if, if he didn't, you know, and he, and he get his old age and you, you, you know, you have some some type of decency or like I say, more speaking of if you're in the truth, bro, you got to let let these things go and make make amends. And if your father, you know, needs your help, help him. You know, hard as it may be, because it, it's not going to be easy. I ain't going to say and talk like it's going to be easy of a person that you felt uh, you was abandoned from in the majority of your life. Nah, that ain't going to be easy. Okay, but once you come into this knowledge, this truth, look, man, ain't, ain't you know, can't think, can't think about yourself no more. Can't be selfish. You got to apply these scriptures, you know. And like I said, it's a case by case situation. I'm not. You know, telling you know you brothers and sisters to do what y'all can do. I'm I'm just you know uh, expressing, okay, and, and reading what the scriptures is saying, okay. What society is not telling our people, you know. But like I said, they push more of the dishonor to to you know, to the father, you know, and, and blame and blame and blame, you know, and have you and have you at the point where you never make amends with it, you know, you just bitter as your father. Every time you see him, you know, you're going to cuss him out. You look at him funny. He's trying to make amends with you and say, you know, I, I, I've been trying. I try to do better or try to explain the situation. You're like, nah, fuck you. You left. You did this to my mom. You did that to my mom. Yada, yada, you know. But we we, we, we supposed to be, you know, us in this truth. We better than that now. You know, we supposed to be, you know, better than that now. You know. Progressing to be you know, better. I'll say, you know, continually. Okay, so verse 12, my son, help thy father in his age and grieve him not as long as he liveth. And if his understanding fail, have patience with him, then despise him not when thou art in thy full strength. For the for the relieving of thy father shall not be forgotten, and in his in, in his stead, or in 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 instead of sins, it shall be added to build thee up. In the day of thine affliction, and it shall be remembered, thy sins also shall melt away as ice in the fair of warm weather. And he that forsake of his father is 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 as a blasphemer. And, and he that angereth his mother is cursed 
of the Most High. So even with just going into this verse, it's heavy. It says, he that forsake of his father is as a blasphemer. And he that anger of his mother is cursed of the Most High. You see? So when you so this is when you, you, you dive a little bit more into honoring thy father and thy mother. Okay? You're not to uh, 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 forsake your father. You're not to uh, curse your mother. You see? The Lord is, is not pleased in these things. You know? The Lord is not pleased in these things. They just, you know, throw things out there, honor thy father and thy mother. How? There's ways you do that. Okay? But what you see here, you know, in, in this society, rebellion. Right? Rebellious children. You know? And, you know, th and this is not to, you know, just to, 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 to dismiss the mother. You know, this this what this lesson wasn't about. But this was, you know, to you know point out, okay, of, you know, basically just the, 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 the dismissal uh, of, this, of the father in the society. Okay? The lack of honor that the father gets. And, you know, the, a father... Like I say he plays a, a very major role in a, in a child's life, and there's a lot of fathers out there that actually take care of their children. We're talking about Israelite men, black men, and Latino men that actually take care of their children. You know, that is that strong man in the family, hand on a business. But see, that is not highlighted. Okay, because what they'll say, oh, that's what it, that's what the man is supposed to do. You're right. But so is for the responsibility of the mother. But you don't put, you don't say that same energy for the mother of, that's what she's supposed to do. <laughs> you see? <laughs> this place is nuts. But, you know, that's just a point. The spirit, you know, just to touch on that. Um, like I say, as it was on my spirit to do so, you know, as I was uh, meditating, reading, to write the third chapter. Until next time, I want to say shalom.